Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Cube Steps by Test Subject 00. Use all six cubes to make steps to get to the exit. Easy to medium test with colored cubes. Feedback is not required. Uh, cube stacking puzzles generally aren't <laughs> that good. You could just... Oh, I even see in the picture here, but uh, yeah, you could just make six buttons tied to the exit. But yeah, let's, Enjoy let's just this see what's going test. on here. Alright, thanks GLaDOS. I wonder if these are the B-Mod kind. Oh, yep. Well, there's there's enough evidence for y'all to determine that I have not yet installed B-Mod. Because <laughs> if you install B-Mod, these actually look correct, rather than just a solid color like this. Uh, yeah, but if you don't have B-Mod installed, the cubes just, they look... They look like this. They <laughs> look neon. They will stare into your soul. Alright, and this faceplate is currently disabled. I think Conklin was trying to figure out how to do this, but for for large the large faceplates. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started by doing this. Also, I technically only need three cubes to get to the exit, rather than six. You do realize that, right? Okay, so this faceplate's active. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a Wait care in the a world. second. Wait just a second here. That could almost work. Give me that cube back. Pretty sure that uh, this can work. If I do it right. If I do it just right. I swear it can. Yeah, not like that though. I know, I'm not a cube-tossing expert, but I should at least be able to do this. Oh my gosh, how did I miss the fate plate? Oh, goodness. Actually... Hmm. Alright, whatever. Well, the point is, there's a way that you can land at the exit there, by just letting go of the cube at the right time. Wow, was there- was it really necessary to have two GLaDOS cube monitors? Sorry, cube- cube monitors? No, just two GLaDOS monitors there. My bad. Wow, that antline goes on the journey of a century right there. That- did it really think that it could not touch the bottom of the faceplate, or else it would die? They told me that if I went into the bottom of the faceplate, I would die! I mean, they told me about everything! I don't know why they even bothered giving me this stuff, if they didn't want me using it. Also, what is the point of having two faceplates to hit me to this button? That's not challenging, or a puzzle. That's just walking around pushing buttons. Alright, let's get this cube out of here, and we'll go to the exit, because this is clearly not a puzzle. Let's see... Cube here... Cube here... And... Last but not least... Cube... Here. So let's see here... Oops, come on. Yeah, need to... need to adjust this slightly. How about like that, and like that. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll lean it against the wall for support. Will that make you happy, game? If it has some support. Wow, the game just really does not like this. Normally it's okay with it. Yeah, there you go. That's all you need to get to the exit. Only need three cubes. Do I even want to know what's on the other side? I guess we might maybe find out for the sake of curiosity. And it looks like more walking around pushing buttons. What does this unlabeled button do that has no signage? Who knows? Who even knows? Like, what was the point of that? I could also bring any of the other cubes into here to put on this button, you know. And this isn't a puzzle. 
This is just pushing a button. And you just get me two cubes from one button that took no effort to push. Oh, wow. Yep, we're, we're getting out of here. We are getting out of here. Sayonara. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye. That was not a puzzle.